I have my sweet potatoes lined up on a tray and I'm gonna put this in the oven at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Our sweet potatoes baked for about 20 minutes. Sorry about my oven preheating. Um, so now I'm adding on some taco meat. This is just ground beef mixed with some taco seasoning and some diced tomatoes. This part is totally optional. You do not need to do the taco meat if you don't want. Next, I'm just going to take a few sliced tomatoes and place those on top and then a few diced onions and place those on top as well. I love making sweet potato nachos. I used to make these all the time and I kind of forgot about them. So I'm excited to have them again. Next, I'm just going to add some slice or some shredded cheddar cheese right over top of the sweet potato nachos. Alrighty. And now I'll place this back in the oven for about 10 minutes or just until the cheese is melted and then we will add more toppings. All right, so these are going back into the oven until the cheese is melted. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and we are getting our sweet potato nachos out of the oven. Look at how good those look. The melted cheese, we have our sweet potatoes, our tomatoes, the taco meat. So let's add some extra toppings and try these out. All right, these look so good with that melty cheese. So I am just going to sprinkle on a little bit of salsa. This is a spicy salsa just for a little bit of kick. It looks so good, I cannot wait to dig in. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of guac. I just used a store-bought one just to make things super quick. And then a little bit of Greek yogurt in place of sour cream. You could also add some sliced romaine on this, whatever other toppings you like on your tacos and nachos. Some black beans would be really good. Refried beans, use whatever you like. But I am super excited, so let's try these out. I need to find the perfect bite. Thinking that this one looks pretty good. Then make sure I get some guacamole and some of this Greek yogurt. All right, guys, this is a big bite, but let's try it out. They are so good, such a healthy alternative to regular nachos, but really give you that nacho craving fix as well. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys try these out. They are seriously so good, and I love that the sweet potatoes add just a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, you could also use regular potatoes, but let me know in the comments if you guys would try this and what you think.